Hello and welcome to Matthew Kate Photography. Today we're going to uh, shoot, a, shoot a hyperlapse, which uh, is fun. We're um, back in a hop field, don't know why, but uh, I needed to do a bit more footage for my film. And what we're going to do is shoot all the way up this hop field, or hop in between the hop binds. You may ask, what is a hyperlapse? A hyperlapse is basically a time lapse moving, and uh, you take a shot and you move a certain amount of space, take another shot, keep on moving. And you can basically edit that in After Effects or Premiere Pro or any kind of software that you like to use, and uh, you can stabilize the shots. So. In a minute I'm going to go through just the basic equipment, it's quite easy um, and yeah it's quite good fun and a good effect. Um, here's the equipment, um, very very easy, basic, uh, a monopod, uh, easier than a tripod to hold the camera still in each shot and easy to move. Basic camera and whatever lens you like. I've got an RV image stabiliser, you know, it doesn't really matter, but um, it can help if we're a bit jerky. Um, and what we'll do is we'll slowly move up, taking each shot. Okay, here we go. Um, we've set up the camera, um, pod up to height, eye height, easy to focus on. I've turned around the little thingy because uh, it's sticking in my neck every time I take a picture. The key is to focus on one particular area in the shot where you're heading to and uh, that is probably one of the best ways to do a hyperlapse. Um, if the focal area changes it looks a bit messy but if for us we're going to be just focusing up the path right to the end and it should warp through. That's basically what a hyperlapse is, still motion warping to some degree. Uh, so yeah, focus on the main point and move through. And uh, f the focal area or the focal length um, is best to shoot manually so the, f the focus doesn't keep on changing in between each shot. So turn your camera onto manual and uh, yeah, shoot like that. That's probably the best way to do it. Uh, easy technique and good fun. Well, I've just finished doing the time lapse, uh, well, hyperlapse. Um, it can be considered a little bit boring to do it, but uh, it can be quite meditative as well. And uh, as you say, it's uh, a good fun effect. And um, yeah, um, any program can warp stabilize, which centralizes the image. Um, and stops any shaking in between the frames. Something you can use on Premiere, um, but there's lots of different software out there and not necessarily Adobe. So yeah, have a look around. Relatively easy to do. Okay, cheers. Bye.